In this video on the Warlord's Ruin boss encounter, I'm going to go get to the point really quickly, but also do it visually so you can understand the different mechanics and how they work. This guide has also been made a little bit after the dungeon drop. One of the reasons for that is to make sure we completely understand the encounters. Many early guides miss key points that potentially can cause problems for fire teams. So first off, you'll kill ads, obviously like any encounter within Destiny. You'll notice when we're on the arena that there are a bunch of blights. You should continue when you get an opportunity to try to kill those. Use grenades, use wither horde, I was using sunshot in this particular video, but use things to kill those as you have opportunities. You'll notice that there are eyes that show up around the boss. You wanna show those, but coordinate it because once you do that, you're gonna see a notification that says scorn rise to invoke their fortunes in your demise. When that happens, a large scorn is gonna show up. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're both ready for this and you're also gonna make sure you don't nuke it. The reason is that when it first drops down, if you give it enough time, it will drop one of these Aether machines. It'll also drop one of those when it dies. The important thing is, is if you can get two of those and close those on both sides, it'll extend your DPS window. Once you kill one of those, two things will happen. You'll get an imminent wish counter, which is around 30 seconds. This counter tells you how long until DPS. You'll also get a notification that says your fist bear corruption, strike your foes will be consumed. And you'll also notice a buff or debuff that's hex eventual corruption with a 15 second timer. The other thing that's gonna happen is that scorn are gonna show up that you can't kill. And that's why it's really important that you have some protection, but also make sure on each side that you're communicating when you're bringing down the larger scorn. The hex timer again is 15 seconds. If it expires, you die. You can give it back to the scorn by punching them but if they punch you back, you'll get it back again. So that's one of the tricky things here, one of the timing things. So try to close the machines as quick as possible, then immediately punch the scorn and jump away. Just get back as quickly as possible. You'll know you're successful if you see two things. First off, you'll see your character lets go of Corruptive Vengeance, which indicates you're good, but also you'll see a bigger thing that says Vengeful Corruption Transferred. Once you do that, you know you're right for DPS. If you've done this correctly, you still have enough time to go then quickly, go over, plan a well down, for DPS. If you've done four either machines, you're gonna have about 20 seconds or so of DPS time, which is critical because the DPS windows are very short in this boss encounter. To know that you're doing that, there's a buff called Nareem's Wish Empowerment, which will have a timer. When that timer is done, and you also see the shield go up and down, you'll know that that particular portion of the encounter is done. The boss then has a health gate. Once you get past each health gate, then he will proceed to go up to the next platform. You will continue to repeat this process until you get all the way to the top. When you get to the top, there are three islands that will slowly spawn in taking goo that will kill you. Try to travel as a group and either damage the boss while jumping or again, use some form of protection. Don't even try to kill the eyes because they're just gonna regenerate. So just keep going around. Once you get to those three islands, you're gonna go back to the bottom and start again. Once you've cleared enough health through all the health gates, he will have a final stand once you clear the final stand, the encounter is done. Again, super fun dungeon. Had a ton of fun doing it. Great encounter, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, if you liked the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you guys in the tower.